How long shall we live in a police state? For decades, the government has waged a cruel war on us in the name of fighting vice and sin. The war on drugs has affected millions of lives and destroyed thousands of families and burned billions of taxpayer dollars and made the streets more dangerous because of the government's unconstitutional and ill-conceived efforts to attempt to regulate private human behavior. The war on drugs is a failure on every level, moral, constitutional, and economic. In Austin, Texas, Barry Cooper is a former narcotics officer. He is also a candidate for Texas Attorney General. His outspoken advocacy for the end of the ill-begotten vice war has brought him under the ire of the state, declaring him an unfit parent. The state has taken away his child, Zach, and cited as a specific reason that Barry and his wife, quote, are unsuitable and create an environment where the children believe the government is out to harm them. Hmm. One has to wonder, how much harm does Mr. has Mr. Cooper done compared to the government stealing property, stealing freedom, and in this case, kidnapping his child? The parents in question are Barry and Candy Cooper, long known to authorities in the area as opponents of the drug war and of big government, and filmmakers who have called, the legal, called for the legalization of marijuana. One of the Child Protective Services reports was written by a police sergeant with a long history of pursuing narcotics cases. Might we have had, might he have had a grudge against the Coopers? Does marijuana activism or even misdemeanor possession of small amounts of marijuana make the Coopers unfit parents? Barry Cooper joins me now. Barry, welcome back to Freedom Watch. Glad to be back, Judge. So how, how is Zach and where is he right now? Well, Zach is in East Texas now with his natural father. He hired a lawyer that I sued for $10 million, uh, hired the lawyer that Williamson County Sheriff's Department had him hire to file temporary restraining orders against us. And this all happened five days after we busted a Williamson County detective uh, stealing drug money in one of our cop buster stings, and which turned into a misdemeanor raid on our house, full felony SWAT style. It's just ridiculous and it was crazy. By the way, in family court last week, they admitted my last interview with you into evidence and they're going to try to use that against me. Wow. Well, they're going to try and use your free speech against you and your defense of freedom. I challenge them uh, to do that. Tell us about the, uh, the sting that you pulled on the police and then I'll ask you about the pre-dawn raid on your home. Okay, well, we had uh, done a sting a, a couple years ago in Odessa, which resulted in the release of Yolanda Madden from prison. The judge realized that she had drugs planted on her, and we were successful getting her out of federal prison. Coming off that success, I went into Williamson County and hid a ba uh, placed a bag in front of a, a Captain Nasar there that had money, a simulated crack pipe, and a hidden GPS unit and a drug ledger and I filmed him throwing that bag in the garbage and keeping the drug money. Uh, I had an HBO film crew there with me when we confronted the chief of police and I aired it on YouTube for free for everybody to see this captain stealing money and five days later that county raided my house. Before we get to what happened to your house, is he still a captain? Is he still a police officer? Has any disciplinary or prosecutorial action been taken against this guy? No, just like the officers that planted the drugs on Yolanda in Odessa, nothing has happened to them, and so far nothing's happened to this captain. In fact, I've been told the Texas Rangers are not going to investigate it, that there's not enough evidence, which is ludicrous. Uh, is the state of Texas actually arguing to a Texas judge that they can remove Zach lawfully in the custody of you, the stepfather, and your wife, his natural mother, because you have raised a seven-year-old to question authority? Actually, those were the accusations Williamson County made to the state CPS. They assigned one of the top investigators uh, of CPS to this case because of the media potential. And CPS actually did a good job. They cleared us, said we were a good family. The district attorney in Travis County said we were a good family and all the kids looked happy, healthy, and well cared for. But by then it was too late to stop the ball rolling in East Texas and we got sideswiped by those cops and judges and lawyers there that hate me. When is Zach gonna come back to where he belongs? 
Judge, we're praying. We In 90 days, we have a final hearing, and we're going to put that in front of a jury. We're trying to get venue changed to Travis County. Because of my activism and wanting to legalize marijuana, uh, they're bringing all that up in the conservative East Texas courts, and it doesn't look good for us there. I think you should bring an action in federal court. And I think you should accuse these police of kidnapping your child because of your First Amendment activities, which are absolutely protected outside the home and within. Last question. How's the race for attorney general? Boy, this would really put them in their place if you win this. How's the race for attorney general of Texas going? Well, it doesn't look like I'll win uh, because of the raid and my son being taken. Uh, the Cop Busters reality show is on hold. We were really close to selling it, which was going to give me the money and the television presence that I needed to win Texas Attorney General. But no worries. I'm going to regroup and come back strong. We are fighting for the freedoms of other Americans. Our family was retaliated against. And all that will come out in federal court, like you said, because we are about to file a $40 million lawsuit against those police agencies. And, and Zach will be returned to the loving family from which he was stolen. Barry Cooper, thanks for joining us. Yes, sir. My pleasure.